The meditation instructions often begin with the words, close your eyes. <laughs> but as a meditator, you also have to know when to open your eyes as well, look around, see what needs to be done. That's a large part of training the mind. I know staying with the John Fu, in exasperation, he'd say, do I have to tell you to do this? In other words, there are things that need to be done around the monastery, and anybody with eyes could see them, just that I wasn't looking. So remember, everything around us is an opportunity to do good, to help this person, to look after that tree over there, to look after this whatever. As you walk down the road, you may, just, may notice some weeds. Okay, The monks can't tell you to pull the weeds, but they're weeds. What needs to be done with weeds? As John Lee used to say, when you live in a monastery, you have to have eyes that are as big as the monastery. Check around see what needs to be done. Because the training of the mind isn't just learning how to be quiet. So much of it lies in being observant. And if you can't observe the obvious things around you, there are a lot of subtle things in your mind you're not going to be able to observe at all. So practice having this all-around eye outside, because after all, that's what we're trying to develop inside, is a sense of concentration where you're aware of the whole body, not just one tiny spot. There may be a focal spot, but it should not then embrace from there the whole range of your body. And remember that the Buddha himself was called an all-around eye. He saw things from all angles, he saw things all around. Because if you look at only one point of view, you see some things. We have to shift your point of view to see a few others. I mean, this is how we gain a sense of three dimensions, as you shift your point of view a little bit. So look around. There are things to be done. And as I was saying the other day, a large part of the practice is volunteer spirit. Nobody's forcing you to be here, and nobody's forcing you to get rid of your greed, aversion, or delusion. It's something you decide on your own. This is need, needs to be done. So in the same way, you want to learn how to develop the right qualities of volunteer spirit by looking to see what needs to be done around you, and having a willingness and taking joy in the fact that you got this opportunity. There was that one time when John Fu and led a group of people up to the, the jetty on top of the hill. They were going to go meditate, but it turned out someone left a huge mess around the jetty. So instead of meditating, they spent their time cleaning it up. And one of the people complained, well, how could anybody be so thoughtless as to leave a mess like this? And then John Fung said, don't complain. They gave us the opportunity to do some good. So the opportunities to do good are all around you. So look all around. Try to have eyes in the back of your head. That's when you become a good meditator. <laughs>